Hey, Coach Miller here, and I have some lax news for you. The week of May 9th, 2021, and I want to talk about the Division I and the Division III NCAA tournaments, which are upcoming this weekend. But before I do that, just want to touch on a couple things from this past weekend. We had the conference tournaments. I watched a lot of lacrosse on Saturday. It was great to see. One of the games I watched was Georgetown Denver. Georgetown won. They actually beat Denver twice this year. They played three times and Georgetown won the Big East. So they get the automatic bid. Denver also made the tournament. Those are the two teams that made the Division I tournament from the Big East. So I also watched the Tufts-Williams game on Saturday. That was an awesome game. It was real close for three quarters. In the fourth quarter, Tufts had their depth and their skill. They pulled away a little bit. Tufts won. So Tufts ended up getting the NESCAC champion and they, they got the automatic qualifier for the NCAA berth. So one thing to note with the Division III tournament is usually in years past, there's two, three to four NESCAC teams that make the tournament. This year, only one is making it because of the COVID reasons. Tufts gets that bid because they won the NESCAC championship. So just to recap the Division I tourney and what's gonna happen. There's 16 teams playing, the number one overall team is North Carolina, the number two seed is Duke, the number three seed is Maryland. Now, Maryland was undefeated, they got bumped to three because the committee gave a little bit more credit to those ACC teams because they played more games outside of their conference. The Big Ten was limited to just playing games inside their conference this year, which was no easy trek, asked Rutgers and Maryland, but with that being said, they seem to have gotten you know, somewhat of a dock in the fact that Maryland's undefeated and they're the three seed. But we'll see what happens. They're still in it. Rutgers did make the tournament from the Big Ten, which is good to see. They have been on the bubble in years past and haven't got in, but this year they got the bid. So they play Lehigh in the first round. We'll see what happens there. One team that got left out was Army. They had a strong resume, but I think probably Syracuse got in over them because A, the committee favored the ACC higher this year, and B, A, Syracuse beat Virginia twice, which I think went a long way in giving them a bid. So, the schedule, like I said, there's 16 teams that made the Division I tournament, and they will start playing this Saturday. The next round will be the following Saturday, and then the following weekend will be the Final Four in East Hartford, Connecticut. So we'll see what happens. We'll see, keep a tab on all those games. In Division Three, the tournament is bigger. There's 31 teams, so there's four different brackets. One team has a bye, that's RIT. They were the number one overall seed. So that's why uh, 31 it works that way it is because they play their first game on Sunday. The rest of the division three games start on Saturday, including Tufts. So they're gonna play Saturday. Winners play Sunday. Then the, comp, then the tournament whittles down after that. The finals will be played the Sunday of Memorial Day weekend. So there you have it for a little recap for the Division One and Division Three NCAA tournament. I will be keeping an eye on all of it. I'll have more of these quick videos to keep you updated on what's going on in the lacrosse world. It's May, playoff time. Let's hope Tufts gets a championship. Now, if you're looking to take your game to the next level, play college lacrosse, then I have some awesome programs for you. Just click the link right here. It will take you to some free training where you can get a check out of my style, see what my stuff's all about. And then if you want to take it a step deeper, you can enroll for one of my programs. You can get it right away, start tomorrow. You can start today, even for that matter, and get after it. Start getting yourself, getting your elevating your game, becoming a better lacrosse player. Talk soon, Coach Miller.